Do you want to learn how to add animated emotes to your Twitch stream? Well, lucky for you, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you exactly that. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to drop a like on the video to help other streamers find this video much easier. And obviously, if we want animated Twitch emotes, we're going to have to get some first, which is why I recommend Own. So let's go check it out. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below so you can follow along and check it out for yourself. But basically, they're the number one supplier of overlays and alerts and everything you could possibly want for your Twitch stream, including animated emotes. So if we actually go and head over to the sub emotes and badges, we'll click on Twitch sub emotes right here and then anytime you see this little animated bar that means that these are animated emotes so if you kind of just scroll down let's try and find one that we like i kind of like these little animated reaper ones. so let's click on this pack right here and now you can see when you buy this package then you can actually get all eight of these animated emotes and they'll also come with eight static emotes as well so that way you're actually getting 16 emotes technically because you get the static ones and you get the animated emotes and the cool thing about using these animated emotes from here is that they're already custom sized so they're going to just fit directly into twitch you're not going to have to do any compression you're not going to do any cropping you're not going to have to do anything like that they all have transparent backgrounds and they're optimized to work with both light mode and dark mode for twitch and as soon as you buy it they just give you a download file so you can just extract it and then you're good to go so shout out to own for sponsoring today's video i appreciate you guys once again i'll leave a link in the description down below where you can find this but in order to add animated emotes in the first place we got to head over to our twitch channel which if you guys didn't know i actually stream monday tuesday wednesday so if you guys have any questions you guys can feel free to come over and ask me if you guys look here we play a lot of horror games and a lot of really hard games so if that's up your alley check us out but in order to get our animated emotes set up we got to go in the top right corner so we'll click our little profile and then we'll click on creator dashboard and then from here if we gaze over to the left side we'll click on viewer rewards tab drop that down and then it'll bring us to an emotes page and in order to get animated emotes just to be able to do it you have to be a twitch affiliate because otherwise you're not going to have subscriber emotes because if you're not an affiliate you can't get subs so if you're affiliated you'll see that we have our tier one subs for our standard emotes and then right below that we have our animated emote slots so if we want to add a new animated emote slot we'll just click on this open slot right here i'll click there and then you see we have two tabs we have one where we can upload our gif or gif you're going to roast me in the comments no matter how i say it so it doesn't even matter and then we also have our easy animate tab. So I'm going to be going over both of these. But let's go back to the upload GIF, GIF, whatever it is. So if you had bought your animated emotes from Own, then all you'd have to do is click this little button right here on upload emote, navigate to the file, and then you just add it. And then you're pretty much done. After that, you would just put in your emote name here, and you'd upload, and you're good to go. However, if you did not do that, you're going to have to be a little bit more creative. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I scoured the internet to try and find a funny GIF that I wanted to upload for you guys. And this is the one I came across. So let's go. We'll upload this emote right here we can see that we got a gif i made sure and i compressed it to follow the guidelines and i'll show you guys how i did that but just to keep it simple we have it all nice and ready i know this fits because i have it 112 by 112 pixels and it doesn't have more than 60 frames once again i'll show you how to do that i just want to set this up for you first so now you can see we got this cute little dj cat emote with a little dj hero controller if you guys you know you know but we can name this we'll just call it cpaws m dj so that anytime anyone types in cpaws m dj in the chat this is what it's going to look like and so they give you a preview on light mode and dark mode and so i'll click upload give it a second and then it's instantly uploaded to your twitch chat so actually let's go over and check this out so let's navigate over to our twitch channel real quick and if i go on my twitch chat and i'll just type in the little code it gave us cpaws m dj i'll hit send and then now you can see we got this cute little dj cat gif emote that we made with our animated emote skills so let's go back real quick let's say that you don't have any animated gif emotes and you're like well cody i can't afford it don't worry dudes i got you so let's actually delete this one that we just made because we need a new slot and let's take a look at that easy animate category this little tab right here we'll click on the easy animate tab and this one is much much more simple because you can just use any of your emotes that you already have and just upload it so for example let's click on upload emote let's do cpaws and pog which we made in one of our other videos actually so if you guys want to learn how to make emotes like this then go watch this video in the top right corner it really didn't perform that well i don't know why i think it's really useful so feel free to check that video out if you need some help making these kind of emotes but let's open this emote that we've already made so we'll click open it'll post our emote into this little slot and then now we actually get to choose a custom animated emote right here so we got the couple templates that we can choose from so we have shake so if i click on shake we can get a little preview load right here so that's what it'll look like we got rave we got roll we got spin slide in slide out for this instance i think roll is going to be kind of cool because we're trying to emulate like hype 
we're trying to emulate excitement so poggers like this is the definition of poggers like look like this is like oh my god like this just happened holy cow i can't believe that happened so i really like this one so we'll call it c pause m we'll do poggies and then we'll just hit upload and then now you can see we got our little animated emote when we didn't even have like an animated gif file we just used one of our sub emotes we already have because if you can see up here we got our follower emote c pause and pog right there but now we also have an animated emote c pause and poggies i'm going to show you guys one more way to get you guys set up with these animated emotes however i warn you this is a little more complicated so this is not for the faint of heart but let's say you've scoured the internet and you found a gift that you want to add to your channel as an animated emote however it's telling you it's either too large it's got too many frames it's got too much stuff it's too big well i'll show you what i did for that little cat dj emote because i ran into the same problem so if we actually go back let me get rid of poggies real quick we'll remove the slot we'll go back here and we'll upload this so this is the one i initially downloaded this cat animation animated gif emote that we got if i open it let's see what eric gives us it might say it's too big it might say it has too many frames it says image file size is too large which is okay because i think it's around four megabytes and we need to be one megabyte or less so we need it to be square shaped aka 112 by 112 we need it to have a maximum size of one megabyte and it can't have more than 60 frames so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to leave this link in the description down below, but we got to go to easygif.com. So this is what easygif.com looks like. We're going to go and just click on resize. So we'll click on resize up here. We'll choose our file. We need that cat animated GIF emote. We'll click open and then we'll click upload. So then now it's going to actually let us edit this GIF without having to have any complex software downloaded to our computer because I don't like that and I'm sure you don't either. But now we can see some more information. We noticed that it's like four and a quarter megabytes. We need that to be under one, 200 by 200, and then the frames are 237. So everything about this GIF is just wrong, which is why it wasn't working. So first off, we need to change the pixel size. So we need to go 112 by 112, and that's gonna drastically lower the file size, hopefully. Our resize method, we want the faster, smaller file size. Gifsicle will do that. We'll resize the image. So now after doing that little resize, we have a file size of 1.4, so we need to get that under one. Our width and height are 112 by 112, which is good, but our frames are just way too long. It's 237, we need to get that down to 60. So that's where we are actually going to click on the little cut button here because we need to cut the frames. So it starts at one frame, and let's just put it to 60. You can mess around and just do whichever 60 of the frames you want here, but just to keep things easy, we're gonna do one to 60 because we know uh, we need a max of 60 frames. So we'll cut the duration, give this a second. We got this cute little cat that's so cute. And then now you can see that the file size has been incredibly reduced from all the way from 1.4 megs to 341 kilobytes. So we got 60 frames, which is good. We got our 112 by 112, which is good. And then we're under one megabyte. So that means we're good to go. Let's click save. We save this new GIF, and then let's go and try and upload this new GIF to the Twitch animated emote section. So we're back here with this nasty error message. Image file size is too large, but ha, we've come back. And I believe this is going to do just the trick. So we got our brand new one that we just cut, resized, and compressed. So we'll click open on this and hopefully cross our fingers that we're not hit with another thing, but we've met all the requirements. So that's why it works first try. Well, not really first try, but you know what I mean. So now we'll just call this catters because I can't think of anything else creative right now. Click upload. And now as the last method, we now have C pause M catters, which you can now use in the Twitch stream. Just kidding. I'm deleting this right after the video. But if you guys made it all the way to the end of the video, that's why I recommend using owns because it's so much easier, less headaches. You can pick which ones you want and it's going to be a lot more cohesive and simple to use. But my name's Cody. I want to thank all my patrons for helping buy a cup of coffee for me this week. I appreciate you. You guys should check out the rest of the videos on the channel. I think they're going to help you out. We stream Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'll answer any questions there and I'll see you in the next one.